Uh, and Eli, first of all, I mean, it's crazy, but it's been like 20 years since Cabin Fever came out domestically. Yeah. And I was wondering, what would you say how much your personal relationship with, with horror changed or developed between the making of Cabin Fever and Thanksgiving? Well, I still love it the way I loved it when I was 12 years old, the way I loved it when I made Cabin Fever 20 years ago, the way I love it today. I think that the, the thing that's tough is you don't have as much time to watch movies when you're making movies, so you have to be more selective. You know, back then I would see every single movie, um, but now I can't watch three movies a night that are kind of garbage <laughs> or that I don't like. And I don't mean garbage in like, I like trashy horror films, but stuff that just doesn't seem that original or that interesting or that well done. Um, but I still love it. I wanna see new movies, I wanna find new directors. I'm still doing these TV shows the Haunted Museum and Urban Legend where I get to meet new directors like Justin Harding and met Adam McDonald and Kat Hostick. So I'm always interested in the next wave of filmmakers and finding them and working with them and just seeing how far I can push the horror genre. I love it. Awesome. And, and I mean, when it comes down to Thanksgiving, what's really great about Thanksgiving and the journey of Thanksgiving really is the fact that the fans never stop believing uh, ne never actually gave up on this. They always ask you about it. Yeah. Um, and I was wondering, um, how much does it actually mean to you, you know, to to have a fan base that never actually forgets your work, no matter how much time goes by? Well, that's the beauty of horror, because, you know, you're seeing, like, air fresheners for Sleepaway Camp. Like, the movies never die. When you make a horror movie, they only grow stronger over time. You know, they're like a zombie or a virus that keep reinventing. And look, Thanksgiving is an idea Jeff Frandell and I had when we were 12 years old, growing up in Massachusetts, talking oh, yeah. about all the kills. We we're waiting for the Thanksgiving slasher. Every other holiday had a horror movie, except Thanksgiving, which was the biggest holiday. We're like, how could they have missed it? So also there was always a drought in November. You know, November 1st, horror movies were done and in came the family movies and Christmas movies, which to me right. were just so boring. I had to wait until January, you know, for the horror movies to come back. So we wanted to fill the November gap where there were no horror films. But honestly, you know, it's, it, it was the fans and the websites reposting that trailer every year going, if you don't make this movie, you know, what, what was the point? Like, why would you tease us with this trailer? And now after the trailer, we thought we don't have to make the movie because we already did the best parts, but we just didn't have a story. We didn't have a plot. So the fans reminding us every year, I was like, this is only getting stronger. This is a cult following. And, once we saw those viral videos of those tramplings at the superstores, the midnight Black Friday sale, we said that's the opening incident we needed. That unlocked it because it gave us the theme, the theme of greed, of Christmas bleeding over into this holiday that's supposed to be about being thankful and being with your family. Two hours later, you're so thankful and then you kill your neighbor for a waffle iron. So we, we right. like that idea because it also reminds us of the theme of Thanksgiving where you know the Native Americans had a dinner with the pilgrims and showed them how to survive the winter. And because they helped the pilgrims survive the winter, the pilgrims killed them all and took their land. So there's you know, a corruption yeah. and a perversity, and we address that in the movie too. So there, there's a controversy now that there wasn't when I was a kid. That was never a thing when I was a kid, but now some right. people are uncomfortable with Thanksgiving. It's colonization. So I wanted to, that to me is where horror movies are interesting, is where you can have a great slasher with awesome kills, but you can go back and you know write papers about it in school if you want to.